Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So, Tom has a new surprise music video and important announcement out today. And I've been kind of in a weird place myself. And so what I want to do is I want to hear his new video or whatever this announcement is going to be. But I also want to dive back into some of his older stuff um, that meant, means a lot to me that I go back to when I'm struggling uh, because when I, when I was alone, when I was on my own, when I was struggling at my darkest, um, two of Tom's spoken word came full circle with what I am attempting to provide for this channel now. And you'll see what I mean. But I listened to them today to kind of motivate me, but I also wanted to put them on camera for you guys um, because you'll, you'll understand the origins of my channel by those, a lot of the inspiration that started it. So without further delay, we're going to start with the new one and then we're going to dive into the other two. Everyone who hated can finally see what I've become The biggest independent artist rapping in America So now when they talking, I really have to bite my tongue Cause mentioning their names will make them famous and that's what they want I can't do no features to say who my favorite rappers are Cause chances are those rappers were actually talking trash before How am I supposed to act like a man when I cannot respond? Laugh it off and let them think I'm f***y, I don't have the balls It's awful dude, we probably could've even made a song or two But since you talking I can never even acknowledge you Do a joint with me and that record would change your life But you lost that opportunity by hating on hype <laughs> Talk to big dogs, we privately hear it But we publicly ignore y'all, it's not cause we fear it It's cause there's nothing else to gain when you've already made it You chasing clout while we already famous He has a very valid argument. How do you respond to someone who is beneath you trying to gain clout from your name without automatically entitling them to ride your coattails? And I see it happen a lot in rap battles. Um, we just saw it happen not too long ago. Um, uh, who was it between? It was somebody Ren was battling. And, you know, Ren started his own thing, is doing his own thing, and he's a really good artist. And yet, I love the way he responded, though, because he actually killed the dude with kindness. His whole thing was about, you know, I'm, I'm still going to love you regardless. It's, it's who I am. So I get it. And I've also known rappers that will respond or make a response without mentioning names. And it kind of leaves, leaves it up in the air for the people that don't know, but lets that other person know, hey, I'm responding to you. This is about you, for you. I just don't need to attach your name to it so you don't have any coattails to ride. Bomb back, suck my ball sack, probably want that. Ew. Hey, give me all the hate. You know how I go online, ain't nobody safe. Like, hey, see me face to face, probably want an autograph and brag about it for days. Like, hey, bite my tongue, you want your 50 minutes, boy, but I ain't the one. Like, hey, you don't get along, but I ain't making you famous saying your name in the song. Let like, them pop trash, I won't pop back, cause they want that. Type in all caps, and it's all cap, fall back. I get called back, no response track, put the bomb back, suck my ball sack, probably want that. Ew. <laughs> What's up guys? The Hangover Gang Black Friday sale is going down right now at hangovergang.com. Use the code Black Friday H O G for 25% off everything on the website. Look, you got to be fast. Things are going to sell out like like that. I'm doing autographed albums for two days only. We got knit Hangover Gang Christmas sweaters. We got Christmas stockings. We got blankets, flannels, this guy does all of this himself. For those of you that have been living under a rock and don't know who Tom McDonald is, 
He's been doing this all himself. Him, his family, his Nova, probably Brandon. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if Brandon threw in on some of this stuff to just help him out. But this is literally a homegrown family reaction or uh, organization. It's pretty awesome. Um, I still remember in uh, People So Stupid when his sister was his co-anchor. That song had me rolling. If you guys haven't seen People So Stupid, definitely got to check that one. Denim jackets. We got hangover gang shoes, pajamas, tracksuits, t-shirts, hoodies, ball caps. There's even a bunch of music video memorabilia, stuff that I wore in music videos. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to keep you here for long because the longer you sit here and look at me, the more stuff's selling out right now at hangovergang.com. Get an autographed album, check out all the new hangover gang gear. Sale ends Monday. Use the code BLACKFRIDAYHOG for 25% off everything you want. Go. You got, you got to go right now before stuff sells out. Take off. It's Hangover Gang forever. Have fun shopping. Love y'all. So hey, you don't have to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. You guys know I love you. But do go over and check Tom out because that is definitely, uh, definitely worth the listen. Now, I'm going to add his two spoken word on here. I'm not going to interrupt them. The video is probably going to not get monetized. I don't care. So I'm not going to interrupt them because there's a flow to them that is very important, more important than anything I have to say. But this is specifically so you guys see where I got the inspiration for my channel. We'll talk about it after. I'm walking out the darkness and I barely made it. Hope this reaches all the people who cannot escape it. I was just like you. I was young like you. I was trying to numb the pain I was afraid of facing. I was trying to run away from the hurt. I didn't know what I would do if living felt any worse. I tried the pills and the therapy and none of it worked. I know it kills, but I want you to know that you ain't the first. Your people can't relate if they ain't felt it themselves. It feels like everything they say when you complain doesn't help. You're sinking deeper every day. When you're awake, you're in hell. You think you changed along the way, but now it's too late to tell. It's like you were rolling with the thunder and bell. Cause when the lightning started crashing, I guess you did as well. Your demons kicking down the door, they're never ringing the bell. They just keep tapping on the windows till they follow the sails. I know you're feeling defeated, you try to keep it a secret, your weakness got you believing you need a doctor for treatment, but taking pills ain't convenient, so you keep looking for reasons to go and flush them down the drain and find the faith to keep breathing, you lay and look at the ceiling all night when you should be sleeping, but you've been needing even pieces of dreams and failed achievements. You keep repeating the moments when you were beaten and broken, and now you're bleeding in emotion, you just want someone to hold you, well me too. Cause I've been standing on the edge trying not to jump. I only say it so you know you aren't the only one. The only thing that killed the pain was smoking weed and getting drunk. Before I knew it, I had drank a case a day for 18 months. I was sleeping with a beer by my bed. Last call was all that I could hear in my head. I know there's too many of us drinking to try and forget, but who the fuck are we gonna cheers if we drink till we're dead? And when you finally get sober, you find the friendships are over because you don't have nothing in common. If you're not getting loaded, you call them brothers, you call them family, you call them your blessings, and now they call and you ignore the phone, and that's called depression. They try to tell you your misery is not an excuse and you just wish they could spend a day trying to walk in your shoes. Just know you're not alone. I feel the same way as you. It isn't you against the world because I'm fighting them too. It's like you're losing control until you drive right off the road and then when the vehicle rolls again you get thrown out the holes in it then you notice your bones are broken and all of your clothes are wet. Soaking with gasoline, light a smoke and explode with it. Till the day that we're ghosts, you'll never be on your own Cause I'll be standing in your corner till you need me the most I was put on this planet to lift you up when you're low And you have done the same for me, so I'll be keeping you close I love y'all Sorry I didn't switch it over sooner um, We're just gonna go with that for now But the message is what's important Knowing that I was not alone at the end of the day helped get me through some really dark stuff. And that dark stuff comes in many forms, but it's there, it's still there. That's the one thing I had to learn more than anything is that it doesn't go away. It just gets easier when you learn how to cope with it. Learning to cope with it is the hard part. Learning to challenge it is, is the hard part. But that's where the you're not alone part of it comes from. This last one is also one that's very important to me. And so I'm putting this together 
as kind of a, a medley for you guys to see. Yeah, like I said in the beginning, this is kind of a medley to see where I kind of came from in, in reacting and why I do what I do the way I do it. I wake up feeling panicked. My pills are in the cabinet. It takes all the strength I have to just ignore them as I pass it. Man, I hope this feeling passes soon. Been hell and back, it's barely noon. I'm scared to go outside. Shit, I'm surprised I even left my room. And it feels like no one understands how bad I'd love to join my friends. It's hard to breathe. I'm anxious and I'll end up staying home instead. The doctor hasn't helped me much. He signs his name. I buy the drugs. I'm feeling weird. I take one out. It makes me feel comfortably numb. Man, I can't handle my emotions like I used to. It's all different now. I start to sweat. I feel confused. My fingers shake. My heartbeat pounds. And I'm feeling claustrophobic every time the closet closes because my skeletons are in there, so I have to leave it open. I'm just nervous over nothing, even shit I can't control. I used to love to be in public. Now I'd rather be alone. And even though it's difficult, it's probably for the best. If I didn't make a change, I would have drank myself to death. Then I wake up feeling better than I did the day before. But then it hits me out of nowhere and almost knocks me to the floor. A heaviness, a readiness to get back into bed. A sadness that I can't explain, a cloud over my head. My deepest, darkest fears feel like they're filling up an ocean and I'm floating on the surface with no hope to keep me going. I've been down on myself. Man, I forgot how to believe in me. I never asked for help, now I just struggle with it secretly. I wish that it was something I could sweep under the carpet, trying to hide it all the time only makes the battle harder. Man, I lived a lot of moments that I probably should have cherished. Now they seem so far away from me, I'm angry and embarrassed. I can't even tell my parents, they don't need to keep on worrying. My mama and my papa don't deserve to have to bury me. I hope the pills I have will hold me over for a while. I'll keep searching for the strength to find my smile. So, true story, Three months when I was in my addiction, um, I went radio silent for three months. And the entire time that I was in my addiction, radio silent, I thought I was protecting the people that loved me from having to see me that way. What I didn't realize is my daughter was calling hospitals, morgues, jails, trying to figure out if I was alive, if I was okay, if I had been locked up. So what we feel we're doing in our addiction to protect others may actually be making their situation worse. This song is very reminiscent of the way I used to live my life. There were days where I couldn't get out of bed. I could not leave my room um, because anywhere outside of my own bedroom didn't feel safe. When he talks about leaving his closet open because the skeletons are in there, I didn't have to go far to find mine. They were there. So when I tell you guys you're not alone, it's because I've been there. When I tell you I love you, it's because that's all, that's all I ever wanted to hear when I was at my lowest. When I tell you I care, it's because I do. And it's because of music and, being, and, and having artists reach out and share their vulnerabilities with us that I was, I was even confident enough to get behind a camera and try to inspire and help others myself. So this is my journey and this has been thanks to Tom McDonald in this way and I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, this has been Halos and Heroes. I do love you. I care and you're not alone.